Working with glass, I mainly work with in one technique called the Marini technique. Um, it's a Venetian technique and it's a process of layering up sheet glass, heating it up and stretching it into long canes, which is square, and then I rebundle it and stretch it. And basically it's just a way of getting fine details through the glass. Once I've worked on these patterns, I um, cut it all up and fuse it in open face moulds and then carve it and hand finish it. The hot glass processes I use is just mainly stretching the glass. So I need an assistant, a glory hole. Because I'm working with sheet glass, I don't need a furnace. But um, I'm heating up the glass in a kiln, then I pick it up, stretch it, give it to my assistant, pop it away in the kiln. So that's, that's the only hot glass processes I'm using. The other processes are kiln forming and cold working. So I'm sort of using a large variety of glass techniques to make the one piece. Incredibly time consuming and labour intensive. Um, there isn't another way of achieving the type of effect unless I use this specific technique because you get lines going all the way through the glass. So when you're standing in front of the piece you get this sort of moire effect which is what I'm really interested in. So it sort of changes as you move around the piece. It's such a long process where I'm heating up glass and cooling it, which takes a long time. But I would say it would take me about two weeks from start to finish to make one large scale piece. Most of my work is focused on creating an impression of impermanence. And so I'm mainly inspired by all sorts, but a lot of nature and pattern. So my patterns are mainly inspired by frequencies because I'm quite interested in how frequencies map things we can't see. I'm more interested in sort of like subtle diffused colours and because I'm working with sheet glass um, I can't mix my own colours but I can in layering it so I'm sort of more interested in working with more um, subtle tones. I guess like with this piece that I've made for this exhibition which is titled View, I'm more interested in making three-dimensional form within a two-dimensional construct. So the whole idea of this piece is that it looks like a three-dimensional pyramid from above but it's actually 2D. So it's sort of like this superficial depth and perception that I'm interested in.